Okay, we begin our uh, study of college algebra by reviewing the kinds of numbers we'll be dealing with in uh, college algebra. And rem remember, algebra is really just um, a bunch of uh, uh, processes by which we apply to, uh, which we will be applying to numbers, but these numbers are just represented by letters and things like that because we're not actually specifying a particular number sometimes. So it's a way of generalizing uh, operations with numbers. Now we start with uh, <coughs> um, looking at the different sets of numbers. Now a set is a fundamental um, uh, concept in mathematics. It's actually a well-defined collection of objects. Now well-defined means that there's no ambiguity uh, we can't be mistaken whether something belongs to the set or doesn't belong to the set because of its attributes. Now, when we talk about number sets, all right, we're going to talk about a, a few different kinds of numbers. The very first kind of numbers are what we call natural numbers. And natural numbers in set form involves all the sets that we all the numbers that we use to count with and so forth. And when I put dots here, that means it just goes on forever. All right, then we have what's called whole numbers. All right, now whole numbers are the same as the natural numbers, except that we also include zero. All right, so you can see here that the natural numbers belong to the whole numbers. So we say the natural numbers are a subset of the whole numbers because all the whole numbers are contained in, sorry, all the natural numbers are contained in the whole numbers. So the natural numbers are a subset of the whole numbers. All right, the next one are integers because we'll need a negative numbers. All right, so the integers include all the positive uh, uh, natural numbers, if you like, all the positive whole numbers and zero, and of course, all the negative ones. So it goes on forever this way. And this is our set of integers. All right, you can see here that uh, the whole numbers are contained in the set of integers, so the um, whole numbers are a subset of the integers, and so therefore are the natural numbers. Uh, then we have rational numbers. And the way we define rational numbers is it's any number which can be written in the form p over q where p and q are integers. Okay, and of course q cannot be equal to zero because we can't divide by zero. All right, so these are the kinds of fractions here. Okay, and the way we write them in terms of a set is it's the set of p over q such that p and q are integers. And, of course, q is not equal to zero. Okay, so this is rational numbers. All right, then we have what's called irrational numbers. Right now, we can't be rational and irrational at the same time, so these sort of exclude each other. So these are numbers that are not rational numbers. Okay, so it's the set of numbers, we'll call them x. All right, any number x, such that x is a real number. Okay, but not rational. Okay, so they're not of this form here. They can't be written as a fraction. All right, now next uh, we have uh, what's called real numbers, which will be the largest ones uh, that we'll talk about uh, for a little while till we get to what called, what's called complex numbers. All right, so real numbers, okay, are really any number x that we can uh, put on a number line, really, where x corresponds right, to a point on a number line. Because a number line is a way that we represent the numbers. All right, a number line is like this, divided in half by zero, so we have one, negative one, two, 
negative 2 and so forth, arrows to show it goes both ways forever. And any, any point on here, notice I've just labelled a few of the integers, right, any point on here uh, would represent a number, a real number. Okay. Right, a couple of things that we want to uh, note here, and particularly in the case of rational numbers, right, a thing like, uh, so let's do an example real quick. Um, something like 1 over 2 is rational. Right, because it's a, a integer which is 1 over another integer which is 2, and 2 is not equal to 0. So this is a rational number, so it can be written as a fraction. Now the interesting thing is a number such as um, 1.333 forever, okay, um, sometimes we write it as point, uh, 0.3 recurring, with a dash up here, just goes on forever, which is really one third. This is also a rational number. All right, it's a notice that it's a repeating, uh, non ending, all right, um, decimal number. Okay, uh, irra irrational numbers uh, include things like the square root of three, the square root of five, the square root of seven, uh, things like pi and e. These are what are called transcendental numbers, and these numbers here, of course, are irrational numbers. All right, so let's call that example one. Let's do it a second example. Example two. All right, now let's suppose that um, let uh, a be equal to the set, um, let's have a look here, um, say negative 10, um, let's have a look, uh, negative 7.85, um, uh, let's say um, negative uh, root um, 8. Um, say negative uh, three sevenths, um, zero point um, six recurring, and let's suppose uh, the square root of sixteen, and let's suppose we have. Um, Twenty-eight over four, and let's suppose we have uh, seven hundred and seventy-seven. Right in this uh, set of numbers, let's suppose we want to find um, the natural numbers. Which ones in here are natural numbers? Right, now remember natural numbers, if you come back up here, are these kinds of numbers here. So we go through here, well it's not, none of the negatives, all right. Um, so we don't want any negatives. Uh, what about this one here, square root of 16? Now this means the positive square root of 16. So what's that uh, number? So one number multiplied by itself gives us 16, well it's 4. So that's certainly a natural number. What about 28 divided by 4? That would be 7. That's certainly a natural number. And 777 is certainly a natural number. So that's the first set. Right. Let's look at the next one. Um, suppose we want to find the whole numbers. Well, we go up here and we're looking for the whole numbers. Okay. And you'll notice that uh, whole numbers include the same as the natural numbers, except that it also includes zero. Now, we don't have zero in this particular um, set, so it's going to be exactly the same. All right, let's do part C. Let's suppose we want to look for the integers. Now, a quick
quick way to do this is, of course, that all whole numbers and natural numbers are integers, so it's going to include these ones. But are there others? Well, of course, we can have some, we can have some negatives, can't we? So let's have a look in here. Negative 10 would certainly be one. Uh, this won't because this will be um, uh, more like a fraction because this is 7.85. This is 8, 85 over 100. All right, so that's not right. Uh, there's no square root of 8, so that's not right. Negative 3 sevenths, that's certainly not an integer. Uh, 0.6 recurring is not an integer, but certainly all the ones that we had as whole numbers are. Okay, and so there's our set of integers. Part D. All right, let's suppose we want to find the rational numbers. All right, so the rational numbers is going to be the set. Of course, all natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers are rational numbers, so we have all of these, and any that can be written as fractions. So if we look at this, so we have negative 10. This one can be written as a fraction. Okay. Um, this one is not. Negative 3 on 7 can be written as a fraction. It is a fraction. 0.6 recurring, of course, is 0 0.66666. Well, that's, point, that's 2 thirds. Um, square root of 16, of course, is 4. So that's certainly true. We could write 4 or the square root of 16. doesn't really matter. And uh, 28 on 4, of course, is as well. And 777 seven, seven is as well. So there's our rational numbers. And if we put at the next one, let's suppose we want to look at the irrational numbers. All right, the irrational numbers are going to be, well, everything that's not rational. So anything that's in this set A that's not in this set here, and of course that would in fact be uh, the negative square root of 8. And that's it. Okay, So that's irrational. Now notice that all of these numbers in this set are in fact real numbers. But the, here is the breakdown of the kinds of numbers. Right, These are the natural numbers, the whole numbers, the integers, the rational numbers. Now you can use the subsets here because remember that for rational numbers, all right, all integers are rational numbers, and whole, all whole numbers are integers, and of course all natural numbers are whole numbers. Okay, and so we can uh, help ourselves to determine those numbers doing it that way.